I'm Kara. So here's what I did. For 30 days, I did a full vegan diet, meaning I cut out all animal-based food products. One thing you might not know is that the vegan diet is also considered one of the most, if not the most, sustainable diet in terms of how much energy and water it takes to produce the food. So I wanted to try this challenge and just see what it was like to eat vegan for a month. Now one of my concerns going into this diet was getting enough protein. So I tracked my food in my fitness pal for the first couple of weeks of the diet and I was aiming for about 55 to 60 grams of protein per day and that was hard. Most protein on a typical American diet comes from animal meat. So by cutting those out and by cutting out dairy, you need to find other sources of protein. When I started this diet, I went to the grocery store and essentially tried to find high protein foods that I could add to salads or whatever I was cooking. Things like hemp seed and flax seed. Uh, I also made sure to get quinoa, which is a high protein grain or actually seed. And interestingly, a lot of vegetables like leafy greens actually have some protein in them. It's just not as high of an amount. The other thing that I did was try and find high protein options for the foods that I normally eat. So for example, I eat a lot of uh, almond milk, but it doesn't have a lot of protein. So instead I opted for soy milk, which has more protein in it. And then the last thing that I did was I actually bought a plant-based protein powder, which was so important and so valuable for getting in that extra protein that I needed. The other thing I was concerned about was convenience. As a vegan, it's a lot harder to just go to a restaurant and order something off the menu. So at the beginning of the diet, I started with making a lot of my own recipes and making things in bulk that would just be easy to heat up or take with me. But by the end, I started also buying some vegan packaged foods. And that may not have been as healthy, but it was so much more convenient. So overall, what were the results of this vegan diet? So first of all, at the beginning of the diet, I was craving all the dairy. I wanted cheese, I wanted pizza, I wanted ice cream. And by the end of the month, I actually stopped craving those foods. I didn't notice any difference in my energy level and I didn't lose much weight. I lost maybe a pound or two, but I don't know that that's necessarily just because of the vegan diet. I wouldn't suggest this diet for somebody who is necessarily trying to lose weight because there's still a lot of junk food that you can eat. Overall, I would recommend this diet to anybody who's curious or wants to try it or even try it for maybe two weeks. It's just kind of a cool opportunity to try something new and try some new recipes that you might not try otherwise. If you have any questions about the vegan diet, feel free to comment below and I will try and answer them, though I am not an expert. But yeah, thanks and I'll see you next time.